Hey kids, it's Mr. King here on your Thursday, 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 Thursday. Uh, <laughs> gonna be another really great day out there. I got that forecast coming at you right after. You know how we start every day. Please put the right hand over your heart and please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. It's the Kukuka Kendall Weather Report, letting you know that today, like yesterday, is going to be beautiful, bright, and sunny. We've got a high of 61 predicted. Uh, going to get a little cooler tonight, and then there is a slight chance of rain tomorrow as the clouds encroach in a little more, as the temperature, though, also comes up a little bit, and the low starts to rise as well. So we're going to see some really beautiful weather trends going on. Um, I do think the weather's going to get a little warmer than 61 today. So keep an eye out on the temperature and uh, definitely understand that out in the sun it feels a, a lot warmer than that. Um, and one of the great news pieces is that trending for the weekend, at least Saturday, is going to look nice and clear with a, a little chance of rain as the clouds pass through. Sunday is the question mark right now. There's uh, the possibility of some thunderstorms, so that uh, weather might change as we get closer to the weekend. But as of right now, it's the only really questionable day. Otherwise, really great weather all around. And so I get out there and enjoy. Hey kids, it's the question, also the challenge of the day. Remember to send your answers to my email. So last time we got together, I'd asked you guys about the distance between the sun and the earth. And the second part of that challenge, uh, or the second part of that question, was um, how long does it take the sun to actually get the light to the earth? How long does it take that sunlight to travel? Madison Holtz, here with the answer again, the sun is 94.074 million miles away from Earth, and it takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the light uh, from the sun to hit Earth. So that's pretty crazy. Think about the speed of light takes over 8 minutes for it to, to get to us. So if you were wondering about uh, being able to travel through space, even if you were moving at the speed of light, you'd still take a little while to travel where you wanted to go. Um, but to let you guys know that the uh, next question I have for you is how fast is the speed of light? For your challenge of the day, though, I got something a little new for you. I'd love for you to send a video of your very best dance. I don't care if it's something modern like the floss or if it's something really goofy right here. But the stranger, the better. We are going to show that one tomorrow's announcement if you want to send that one in. So I'm challenging you kids to give me the goofiest possible dance. Madison, you're on for this one because obviously you've got that title to defend. Well, I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, you know it's coming up and wrapping up on the end, but before we go, I have actually something to ask you, uh, as I am starting to run lower on photographs to use in the introduction to the morning announcements, if you have a photo of you studying or uh, outdoors doing some of the challenges or any of the fun stuff like that that you want to send over towards my email, I will happily include that in the introduction of the announcements, otherwise I might be getting a little creative with them. But you guys know how it goes. I'm going to leave you with the Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. I hope you guys have an awesome day out there. Enjoy that gorgeous weather. And remember to stay colorful, Kendall.